Welcome back to McPhee Ford. Today we're taking a look at this brand new 2025 Ford Explorer. The 25 Explorers are finally starting to trickle in here at the dealership and we've got this one here today is the active trim level which is actually a new trim for 2025 and it sits as the lowest trim available. However, this is far from a base model. This is a really, really nice vehicle. We're gonna take you on a full tour of it today. This one again is the active trim it's finished in carbonized gray metallic and it is powered by the 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine and that is a turbocharged four-cylinder engine. Now we're going to start here with the front end. This one does have the active comfort package. So with the comfort package, it's going to include a lot of standalone options. One of them is going to be the uh, little bit updated headlights here. So you get this kind of signature LED design there with your fog lights below, which are also LED. So you're going to get a nice upgraded lighting package here. You also have a nice chrome and gloss black grille. Again, these have been uh, fully, fully redesigned for the 2025 model year. You got new bumpers, new lighting, new grills. Really, really sharp looking vehicles here. We'll come around to the side. This one does have an upgraded wheel option. This is the optional 20 inch wheel, which is available on the active trim. It's gonna be wrapped in a Michelin all season tire. Of course, you still retain that iconic Explorer silhouette with the sloped rear there you get the uh, really large window in the back which does very very much improve visibility and then coming around to the back here you get a couple of new changes for 2025 uh, the new led taillights kind of protrude their way into the center of the tailgate there which i think looks really really special uh, especially at nighttime it looks really cool you're gonna have your parking sensors in the rear bumper as well as your class three receiver hitch now this is going to have a 5,000 pound towing capacity and that is actually standard on every single trim level every single explorer for 2025 is going to have a 5,000 pound towing capacity now let's go ahead and take a look into the interior of the 2025 explorer with the active trim level we are going to have the dark space gray uh, interior this is the active x material it's got this nice cloth piece up here on kind of the upper backrest which i think looks really really nice these are going to be fully power operated and heated so they are extremely comfortable it's a really really nice soft material and you kind of get this nice contrast stitching there in the seat to kind of break up the design now with the door panel uh, these have also been pretty much fully redesigned here you get the, again contrast stitching nice kind of aluminum trim that runs along the door handle there now let's go ahead and hop inside Quick look at the key fob. This is going to be unchanged from last year. It is going to include remote start, which is actually a part of the active comfort package. And then you're going to have your power trunk control. So there's a lot of functionality right there from the key. Let's go ahead and fire it up here. Again, we do have that 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine. 10 speed automatic transmission is going to come standard on every single 25 Explorer as well. And this one is all wheel drive. Now, in terms of the interior design, Ford made uh, one major change uh, well, a couple of major changes, but I say one of them is going to be the dashboard layout. Uh, they actually moved the dashboard forward to give you more interior room, leg room, head room. It really increases the interior uh, capacities, the cargo capacities uh, in all metrics. So again, you get more leg room, uh, more head room, just more room for everybody really. Um, but again, a really, really nice interior. You've got a couple of major changes. One of them is going to be the center screen, which I will show you, uh, kind of dive into here in just a little bit. Uh, but a very, very similar design as last year. You've got a very similar steering wheel, uh, very similar dashboard layout in terms of the actual design of it, but it's, it's still very recognizable as an Explorer. Now, moving on to the steering wheel, it is heated on this particular model, and we're gonna have adaptive cruise control, ton of ton of technology in this vehicle. The Explorers now all also offer Blue Cruise, which is available on the ST line, trim levels and up. Um, so that is available on, on some of these models as well. So really, really special to have that available there. Um, and also a gauge cluster. It's actually now a full display on every single trim. So it's gonna offer a ton of customization options as well as just information that you can view, which is nice to have uh, in front of you. You know, it's less distracting, you know, if you wanna view it on this screen, it's nice to have it right there in front of you. It's, you know, you're not moving your eyes as much. So really nice to have that there. Again, heated steering wheel with the contrast stitching there on the inside very very comfortable now let's go ahead and dive into the screen here so this is a uh, very very uh, a main uh, design aspect and change for the 25 explorers this is going to be a really special display uh, mainly because it does offer google integration now so you're going to have full google integration 
which is going to give you access to Google Maps, Google Play Store, your Google Assistant, uh, News, YouTube. You can even go ahead and pull up our YouTube channel from, uh, from here. So that's going to really unlock a lot of possibilities through uh, Google integrations. And you also have uh, hotspot capabilities. You have your uh, you know, hill descent control, vehicle settings, and all kinds of different options here. Uh, of course, you still have wireless Apple CarPlay. You'll get nav navigation. And then the climate control is going to be pretty much fully integrated there in the bottom section of the screen. So really nice uh, display here. It is a 13.2-inch screen, so it is quite large meaning it is uh, very easy to navigate. Uh, Ford really, really did, uh, did a great, great job with that screen there. Now we'll move down a little bit here. You're gonna have uh, auto start stop, you got your cameras, you get different you know, vehicle settings uh, right there as well. And then moving further down a little more, you got a 12 volt connector, this is a 12 volt right there, and then USB. So there is a couple of charging options for, for whatever device you may have. Drive mode select, you can go ahead and cycle through uh, six on this particular vehicle. So depending on the trim level, you can you know get different different drive modes. But this has got six, which is definitely enough. Electronic parking brake there. Really nicely sized console with additional outlets. You got a lockable glove box here, which is quite large. And up top, this one does have the optional twin panel sunroof. Now let's go ahead and dive into the uh, rear seat or the second row seat, I should say. This one does have the captain's chair configuration. There is also a bench seating available if you do need that extra seating capacity. However, captain's chairs are a little bit more popular. Um, they're, you know, they have the armrests, they're nice, comfortable bucket seats. But again, you do have the bench configuration if you need that uh, for, for your needs. And you can sit six people in this particular model. Uh, with the bench, you do get a seven seating capacity. On the back of the console here, Climate controls are accessible from back here, your rear climate, and then a couple of charging options as well. You get some cup holders right there. Of course, a huge, huge sunroof up there. Nice view of that. And then in order to access the third row, very, very simply, you can just slide the seat forward and you have a lot of access into the third row area. You got cup holders, chargers back there, which is really nice. Now let's take a quick look into the trunk area here. A little hidden button underneath of the, underneath of the R of the Explorer. It is fully power operated on all trim levels. Um, so currently the third row is in its up position, but you do have these little levers right here you can use uh, to quickly and easily put the seats all the way down. And it really, really does open up the space back here. But even with them folding up, you get a ton of space. Plus there is gonna be some storage underneath the floor, like all previous Explorers have had. Uh, you get a lot of storage underneath, which is really nice. So you can keep your valuables kind of out of plain sight. 12 volt connector right there. And again, you do have chargers for your third row passengers. So that is the 2025 Ford Explorer. If you're interested in one of these vehicles or any Ford for that matter, you can give us a call. You can visit our website, mcpheeford.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.